Welcome to the Magic the Gathering Bloomboro Bundle Unboxing. Today we're going to be opening this up, see what kind of cards we pull from this. Of course, with these, you get 15 traditional foil and 15 regular basic lands. You also get the spin down life counter, 14 card play booster packs. You're going to get nine of those, two reference cards, an art traditional foil, and a thunder trap trainer. And then, of course, of course, the card box as well. So let's go ahead and open this up, get this started, and see what we pull. Last one of these that I did was the Karlov Manor one, which I haven't really gotten to putting any to get decks together just yet, but I've enjoyed those cards on Magic Arena a lot. So hopefully I'm, I'm really looking forward and building some decks this year. Start with this. Of course, you get one of these cards, a bunch of punch outs on the side, another punch out. I'm not exactly sure what these are used for, to be honest. Same with this, but I use them as card separators and get some more punch outs and another one of those. So the basic stuff. And of course, you have the container. It's got some cool artwork on it. Nice, great way to put your cards together. And from my experience, these do a great job at fitting. Like if you get a play booster set, uh, you can open those and get some, uh, you can fit them all right inside there. So that's what I've done with like the Assassin's Creed ones and any others that I picked up. So here are all the foils. There's that Thunder Trap Trainer one that we got and then all the traditional foils. Lands. And I believe the other pack here going to be regular lands and probably token cards, things like that. Yep, same thing. Cool. So now let's get into what we actually get from the play boosters. I have been playing with the starter decks, which I haven't been doing unboxings for those. But uh, getting norm, getting familiar with those cards first have been a lot of fun. These open up great. Let's see what we got. Starting out with Runaway Together, Belated Provisioner, Roughshod Duo. I actually really like that card. Early Winter, Ash Grab, Three Tree Mascot, Moonrise Cleric, Rockface Village. Flame Cash Gecko, Otter Ball Antics, Osteo Mancer Adept, Kidnap. Oh my gosh. This card right here. Essentially, it lets you take over control of a opponent's creature. This card right here is something else. I've been getting absolutely destroyed with it in Magic Arena. And it's going to be a lot of fun to use it at some point. And I have no counters for it, too. And we get the Warren Elder. Nice. Another good one. And then there's the token. Yeah, Kidnap is something else. Plus, that artwork is, of course, really cute. Let's see else. what else we get here. A Gate Blade Assassin. Sun Shower Druid. Dazzling Denial. Vanishing Light. Grilled Spark Shooter. Junk Blade Bruiser, Uncharted Haven, nice, that's a land card. Patchwork Banner, Quake Tusk Boar, Wear Down, Horuscation Mage, I have not seen that one. Armelia the Seed Miser, Seed Miser, I think. That's pretty cool. It's a scroll card, Squirrel Warlock. Man, some of these are so cute. So. And there's the island, and we also got Mabel's Metal as the foil, and then there's one of the art cards. Okay, not too bad. What I really hope, there's if I see it, I'll mention I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's a great flying bird card. Steam Path Charger is a Lizard Warlock, Gales of Shale, Holly Wallop. Run away together. Thistle down players. Light shell duo. 
Heaped Harvest. Star Forge Sword. This one's pretty good. Uh, the only thing is, of course, if you have somebody that's flying, it removes flying from them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it loses flying, equip three. But they do get plus three, plus three. So, I mean, if they don't have flying to begin with, that's pretty good. Persistent Marsh Stalker. Calamitous Tide. Bushy Bodyguard. Okay. Essence Channeler. Ooh, this is a good one. I've used this a, a good amount in my uh, arena deck as well because I built a white and I think it was white and green, which I'm typically not into green cards, but pretty good. Uh, anytime you gain a life, you get to put a plus, plus, plus one, plus one counter on this. And then when this dies, you put the counters onto another target creature. And then Star C Seer Mentor. That one's pretty cool too. I haven't actually seen this one. The white black. I like it. And I can't wait to build some decks from the. I'm getting close to building my first commander deck. Getting close. I built my first Assassin's Creed one the other day, and it actually did better than I expected. Ravine Raider. Long Stalk Brawl. Finch Formation. From and get it. It's a great one. Conduct Electricity, Dagger Fang Duo, Moonrise Cleric again, Fountain Port Bell, Fire Glass Mentor, Short Bow, Flowerfoot Swordmaster, Gev Scaled Scorch. Okay, I don't think I've seen this one. Pay to, uh, ward Pay to Life. Other creatures you control enter with an additional plus one plus one counter on them for each opponent who lost life this turn. Okay. Whenever you cast a lizard spell, Gev Scout Scorch deals one damage to target opponent. Wow. That'd be a crazy... Oh, on the spoilers there. I feel like that would be kind of good for a commander deck, maybe. And Rush Shield Rampager. Rampager? There's the art cards. Giant uh, frog or toad. These, these are really easy to open this time. Which is nice. Alright, Rough Shot Duo. Early Winter. Ash Grab. Bellow Crier. Bellowing Crier. Bladed Provisioner. Whisker Quill Scribe. Head of the Homestead. Curious Forger. Rabid Gnaw. Wear Down. Hunter's Talent. Coiling Rebirth. Mountain. Wait, Coiling Rebirth was the uh, myth? Okay. Go back one real quick. This is a sorcery card. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Then if the gift was promised and that creature isn't legendary, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Except it's a 1-1. Interesting. But that could be really good for a card that has a special ability on it, even if it's a 1-1, one -one, of course. Then we've got the Persistent Marsh Stalker and a fish. Uh, we still haven't gotten it yet. Not the one that I'm looking for. Probably one of my favorite cards so far from, well, there's two of them. One's a rabbit and one's a bird. But if I see them, I'll mention them. Sticky Tongue Sentinel, Water Sprout Warden. Brave Kin Duo, I actually really like this card. You can pretty much tap it to give another card plus one, plus one. Kindle Spark Duo. Glide Dive Duo. Uncharted Haven, another land card, nice. Corpseberry Cultivator. Builder's Talent. Vine Reap Mentor. Hazard Root Herbalist. Ember Heart Challenger. That's the, uh, that's the one they feature on the Jump In which I, I've done a few Let's Plays of so far. Valiant, whenever this becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time, each turn exile the top card of your library until the end of the turn, you may play that card. Season of Weaving, okay. Choose up to five worth of modes. You may choose the same mode more than once. Not exactly how that mechanic, not exactly sure how that mechanic works, so you choose up to five of them so five worth so i guess you can like draw five cards 
do two two of these and one draw card okay i see i'm assuming that's how it works then island and vime reap mentor there's the token going through these pretty quick got three left i know one of the cards i'm looking for is intrepid rabbit i love that card and then there's another one especially with the offspring effect which pretty much lets you make a copy of any of these raccoon rallier the gate blade assassin sun shower druid dazzling denial vanishing light mind drill assailant teapot slinger downwind ambusher valley rally over protect portent of calamity that's the myth oh okay oh and frogmite hold on now let me go back let me go back one second here feel the top x cards of your library for each card type you may exile a card of that type from the among them put the rest into your graveyard you may cast a spell from among the exile cards without paying its mana cost if you exile four or more cards this way then put the rest of the exile cards into your hand and we've got the showcase for frogmite that's pretty cool artifact creature affinity for artifacts this spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control cool planes and corpseberry cultivator all right we got two left i haven't decided on getting a play set for this or not yet i don't know i mean I, I like playing it online and i like playing with the starter decks but i don't know if i would get the play set for uh play booster set for bloomborough myself three top centuries mind spiral wax wayne witness a gate assault psychic whirl rust shield rampager savor nettle guard heart fire hero or yeah heart file fire hero fearless recycling blacksmith talent jackdaw savior that was pretty cool close we're getting close to the one i'm looking for it, it's similar to this it's a bat something i think or it's a bird swamp and mind spiral again all right we're on to the final one let's see what we got here if you guys ended up enjoying this too leaving likes really helps out a whole lot still doing this just for the sake of doing it because i'm going to open these either way so why not do them as a unbox grilled spark shooter starlit soothsayer high stride thought shuckler shucker intrepid rabbit there it is that's one of the two when this creature enters, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. The thing is, in Magic Arena, I have four of these in one deck. They're not too not too costly, but for four, you get two of them. And in, uh, when you use it on the other card, which we'll see if it, it's in here, it's a bird. But it has double strike, vigilance, and uh, I'm trying to remember the last one, flying. So it's it's pretty good. But it's a white card as well. Cindering Cutthroat, Bark Form Harvester, Mabel's Metal, Shoreline Looter, Angle Tumbler, Harnesser of Storms, Phineas Ace Archer. This one's another cool one. Puts a plus one, plus one counter on each other creature you control that's a token or a rabbit. And if that creature you control will have a total power of 10 or greater, draw a card. Swamp and short bow. There it is. Yeah, so I didn't pull it. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's something, start something with an S. I can actually look it up real quick. Let's see. All right, we are back. Here is the one that I was looking for, this Strike Force. You can see it's got that flying double strike and vigilance. So with the combination of Intrepid Rabbit and this, I absolutely loved it in Magic Arena. But here's everything we got. It's all the big ones, the Kidnap and probably Frogmite are my two favorites. And some other ones here that we could probably build some something cool out of it. Same thing with the season or season of weaving. Uh, but for now, 
that's going to be it quick and short one here if you guys end up enjoying this again leaving likes really help out feel free to check out any of my magic arena videos that i've been doing i'm trying to put out some more of those because those are, are the easiest way of me recording playing magic itself not just opening packs here but uh either way these will continue on as more things come out and uh yeah for now that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace